Hello and welcome. Tonight's lecture, integration by parts without doing integration by parts. And I've got four integrals here to do tonight. Okay, I, I, I know you cannot see them from that distance, but just four for tonight. And I want to say a little bit about this. Oh, okay. When I learned um, um, integration for the first time, uh, you probably don't know this, but I'm actually self-taught. So I didn't have the, a formal education with A-level. So I had to teach myself from a book. And I found integration by parts quite challenging. I mean, I could not follow for, to, to save my life what the book was actually saying. So I had to improvise a little bit, but um, until eventually I sussed out how to set it up so it, it would make sense to me what I need to do. Um, and uh, the, what, what I was doing in the very beginning, it was actually sound and it made me understand the method deeper. So I want to show you a few things. Uh, which um, some of them will have practical value, but also to actually get a little bit of an insight as to what is happening in the integration bar parts. Okay, so this is a lecture which is like a little um, en enrichment. So it's not really something that I I'm thinking that you will you find useful, particularly for for exams. So I'm going to start with the first integral. Okay, the first integral is of course something that is just pathetically simple. Uh, is we're going to try to integrate bar parts x. Uh, e to the 2x dx it can't be anything simpler than that that they can give you to do uh, by parts but we're going to do it very very differently you know when I first uh, saw this I could not understand what the formula was saying or whatever so I thought wait a second my differentiation is good so what I'm, I'm thinking all right when I look at this I'm just thinking perhaps I can think of differentiating some kind of product in the hope to get something that looks like this. So I thought, what could it be? All right, I thought it could be perhaps x to the 2x. My rationale behind all of this was, look, when I, did, when I do the product rule uh, and I say I will leave the x alone and then I will differentiate that, uh, because the exponential um, does not change on differentiation. Okay, okay, it produces a factor of two, but essentially it will produce something that looks like that, but unfortunately it also produces extra bits, which I will deal with them, uh, as you can see, in a particular way. So if we differentiate that, we're getting, uh, differentiate the first bit, we get a one, times the, dif uh, uh, times the second bit unchanged, e to the two x plus, um, now leave the first bit alone, which is x, which was why I've done what, I, what I've done, times the differential of e to the 2x, which of course is 2e to the 2x. And let me just do a small tidy there. So that is going to be, let me just write it again, d by dx of x e to the 2x is e to the 2x plus, I'm gonna put the two at the front, x e to the 2x. So I thought, unlucky. Unlucky because I got this guy here. The two is not such a big problem, but the, this extra bit, I didn't, um, I didn't expect perhaps the first time I saw this and it annoyed me. But look what you do next. Now, this is an equation. So I'm going to differentiate. So, sorry, I'm going to integrate, I beg your pardon. Let me just move this equal a little bit further to the right. with respect to x. So I'm going to do the same thing to this item and the same thing to the third term. And let's see what happens. First of all, the integral of the differential of x e to the 2x, clearly, you can think of it as it cancels. So that gives me x e to the 2x. What about this quantity here? Well, that's easy to integrate. It's simply a half e to the 2x. What about this item? Well, that's in fact what I'm trying to integrate. It's just that I've got a factor of two. So I can actually write it, put the two on the other side, because of course it's not dependent on x, plus two integral of x e to the two x dx. So if you look at what I've achieved by doing all of this, I've got my integral. All I need is just to rearrange this expression. So I'm gonna write it uh, left uh, to right. So I'm gonna take this and put it on the left, still keep it positive, sorry, I shouldn't really be doing this, but at the moment this is enrichment, and um, I hope you don't make silly mistakes with signs. 
I do advise my students never to move things from side to side and but uh, without changing signs and then swap them again because mistakes do happen so this is uh, the integral that I'm trying to find with the 2 at the front and this is equal to x e to the 2x I'm already making a mistake as you can see and that is uh, not is correct sorry x e to the 2x minus a half e to the 2x I subtracted that to the left and of course the very last thing I need to do is to divide this by 2 so I'm gonna get a quarter there plus C which is of course I hope I've done it correctly what you would have got if you're doing a standard uh, integration by parts uh, I'm not saying that uh, you should be doing things like that uh, for when you if you have to integrate something as simple like like uh, this particular integral but it gives you an idea what is integration by parts it's actually some product which you actually once you expand it you integrate it back and in fact this is what the formula is of course now i understand what the formula is saying uh it makes perfect sense this makes perfect sense the formula makes perfect sense and the way uh integration by parts works or sometimes people set it up in a particular way also makes sense but at the time for a little while believe it or not this is what i was doing if i had to do integration by parts i had to guess of uh, well not guess but kind of like come up with an, a sensible product that i could see that could possibly produce my integrand and then i will differentiate it and then integrate the expression okay let's um, move on to another example and let's see this once again The second example I've got on the list is x sine x. Again, a very simple one. Only this one requires more thinking. x sine x. Okay, what are we going to do with this? We need to guess now what possibly, what product could possibly produce something which looks like, like this integram. So, let's start with d by dx. And... Uh, although originally you might think well x sine x might be a good idea this is not actually a good idea and why is that is because in, when I differentiate the product uh, I want to leave this unchanged but then I differentiate the sign and the sign will not be producing another sign producing a cosine so this is what I would have started in fact if I had x cos x for my integral that I have in there, I need to start with, difference, with the differentiation of x cos x. Let's see it very quickly. Differentiate the first item, 1 times the differential of the second, sorry, standard, leave the second one unchanged, cos x, plus, leave the first bit alone, x, differentiate the second item, and now we're going to get a minus sign x. A uh, little bit of a tidy. I'm just uh, merely recopying the left hand side. x cos x is equal to the cos of x minus x sine x. And now I'm going to integrate term by term my equation with respect to x, of course. So I'm going to do dx here, integral here, dx, I can just about squeeze it. And another integral there dx and if you see where my integral appears this time I try to integrate x sine x it's here so first of all this one differentiate and integrate with respect to x it just undoes itself can you spot where this appears in the formula that's the uv I think is for those who use uvs and things like that that's the uv bit so x cos x is equal to uh, integrating a cos with respect to x is very simple. It's a sign differentiates to plus cos, that's correct, minus the integral, of course, of x sine x dx, which is what I'm trying to find. So to finish off my integration, I'm going to move this to the left-hand side so it will become positive. So x sine x dx is equal to the sine of x minus x oops x cos 
x and uh, plus c at this stage because of course the integration has finished let's check what is the third item on this list so that's the very first two examples and now i'm going to do something a little bit harder because of course i did say this is not really practical although it's good and it's uh, it gives you an, an understanding of uh, what is integration by parts is there a practical value to this and for those of you who are going to be doing some hard integrations and you're going to be doing perhaps um, further maths and beyond uh, there are some advantages actually doing something like this i'm going to put an example this is i was only integrating this the other day and um, <clears throat> I've done the integration a long hard way um, in my solution purely because if I was to start doing things like that I would confuse people you won't be able to to follow it um, unless I put tons of explanations on the side so this time I'm gonna do it using this particular method this was from further maths and the integral in the question was the integral of x squared arc tan of x dx ferocious very very painful uh, kind of difficult ish but more and more more than anything it was just like tons and tons of tedious working um which was just, just bored me so let's have a little think about how we could do something like this okay i'm not gonna set uh, uh, parts at all I'm, this is quite clearly uh, the way you'll be doing something like this is it the double integration by parts i'm not quite sure uh, my brain is not thinking at the moment uh, when I'm looking at this and I, if I had to do this for myself I would have said look I can definitely get this or something which looks like this particular integrand but differentiating definitely I will have an arctan that's the that that bit in the product is when I come to leave it untouched so the item that I'm seeing in there it got differentiated so it must have come down as an x cubed so try to understand what i'm just doing in there i just said imagine you're doing a product just half the, the product rule so differentiate the first item 3x squared that's the x squared there that you see times the second bit undifferentiated the arctan of x so i'm going to differentiate it and i'm going to deal with the extra bits as i'm going along so here it goes equal 3x squared as planned leave the arctan alone oh good and then the other half of the product plus this time leave the x cubed alone times the differential of the arctan which is 1 over 1 plus x squared apologies to anybody who might be uh, looking at this video i forgot i should really have mentioned this is now further maths so you uh, i think a standard day level uh you don't get to see arc tan so tidy 3x squared arc tan of x plus x cubed over x squared plus one uh okay where do we go from there um it's going to become a little bit tedious for me to start putting now integrals in, in red there uh, but I, I hope you can understand what I'm, I'm doing now. So I'm going to integrate with respect to x both sides of this uh, equation. So this I'm not going to rewrite it here. It's there. And of course, it's the integral of that plus the integral of the x cubed over x squared plus 1. So let's see what happens when I do when I carry out these two integrations. Where's my red pen gone? Wow. That must be a hole in the, in, the, in the office. Okay. Can't see it. So let's go back. We're going to integrate the x cubed arctan x with respect to x. Now, of course, we'll open it up. x cubed arctan of x equals integrate this with respect to x. If you look at what this will produce, this will produce once I put the integral my required answer, but for that three. So that three, I'm going to pull it outside. Ready? So it's going to be x squared arc tan of x dx plus the integral of this quantity here x cubed over x squared plus 1 dx you might say is that uh, easy to do 
Here's my red pen, I just found it. Um, well, how do we integrate that? Do we need to do substitutions, long divisions or whatever? No, we don't. I mean, we are further maths now, quite high level. I'm just gonna manipulate it very, very quickly and just uh, kill it in a couple of lines. So um, I'm still not just, I don't wanna be copying that again. All I'm gonna do is manipulate this expression here. So this is the integral of um, x squared plus one, bracket to keep it warm. And on the top, I will have x, x squared plus one. This is my x cubed that I've got in there, but I just create the plus x by doing that. So let's subtract a minus x there, dx. And this will split on the next line, which uh, I'm not gonna write it low here. I'm gonna rub off this particular integrand and copy it back in here. So what will that give me? Well, this will give me uh, x, bracket x squared plus one divided by x squared plus one, which is a simply x minus x over x squared plus one dx. I hope you all fit in the video. So I manipulated it already and my integration is practically done now. It's going to be x cubed arctan of x already integrated is equal to three lots of my integral, the one I'm trying to find, arctan of x dux, and to integrate the last item, this is of course a half x squared, and this is bottom differentiates to top, but for a factor of a half, we're in further maths now, so I'm not showing substitution or anything else, so it's gonna be minus a half the log of the mod of the denominator, but the denominator is always positive, so we don't even need mods. So x squared plus one, and the plus c, I will sort it out once I rearrange this integral. So I'm gonna try to save myself a line. So my x squared arc tan of x dx, which is uh, here, and is positive, is going to be equal to one third times this term, so it's a third x cubed arc tan of x. This would have traveled to the left, it would have become negative, and I also need to divide it by uh, three, so it would have been one sixth x squared, and the same thing with the log. The log, of course, would have gone positive on the left, so it would have gone plus, also a sixth log of x squared plus one, and on this stage, plus c. And that would have been the end of this particular integral. Let's check the answer very, very quickly. Uh, everybody right, yeah, okay, it's all good. So I'm gonna get out of the way so you can actually see uh, what I've done in there. It's quite, quite, quite cool, this particular one. I, I promise you, if you try to do the integration of x squared arctan, x dx, but the more conventional methods um, is gonna be very, very long and very, very painful. And uh, this, although for the elementary integrals is just um, uh, just quite unnecessary really, for something like this is, is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I wanna finish the integration by parts without doing any parts, by looking at a particular integral, which every time I see it, people integrate it, um, I can't believe nobody, or maybe there is somebody that haven't seen it, has actually said to people, you know what, how about we do it like this? Which is the integral in question? It's a linear, not linear, a combination of um, <clears throat> exponentials and trig bits. Let me just write an example. Uh, which example did I put? I put e to the 2x multiplied by cos 3x. This is not quite the same technique of what I was just showing, but I want to say something about this particular one, or it could be sine, of course, there. Um, we've done this quite a few times. I mean, if you are further maths or above, you would have, you know how to do this by double integration by parts. You know how to do this with complex numbers, and you can cut a few steps here and there, and you can, oh, kind of speed up the, the process a little bit. 
but nobody has actually i mean we're doing integration by parts and other kind of uh, integrations and we don't really pay attention i think to the answers or use a little bit of logic um when you what would you expect to get for for your answer there i'm not saying the exact answer i've done it quite a few times and i'm telling you if you integrate this i'm expecting to see there an exponential function e to the 2x and it's going to be a linear combination of cos 3x and sine 3x there's no way there's anything else so i'm going to say that is something like a Let's put the sine first, actually. A sine 3x plus B cos 3x. Definitely. A plus C, okay, if you want. But um, I'll, it doesn't matter. I don't know what these numbers are. They're probably very ugly there. Two and, and three. I got, uh, uh, I think, uh, the two and the three, probably something like a 13 or something. But I, I don't remember it. Uh, so how do we do this? Is there another way? The answer is, of course, there is another way. Um, if you know that this is your answer, how about we differentiate it? So I'm going to say, if I do a d by dx of this, which is very, very straightforward and very quick, what will I get? Okay, let's do it. It's a product. I'm going to treat it as the product of e to the 2x times the, the middle bracket. So differentiate the exponential. So that's 2e to the 2x. Leave this bracket alone. A sine 3x plus b cos of 3x. And I've got, of course, the other half of the product, which is um, now leave the exponential alone. e to the 2x. And this time, differentiate the bracket. In the bracket, we're going to differentiate term by term. So it's going to be 3a. 3a cos of 3x plus 3b, actually it's not plus, it's minus because we've got a cos there. So minus 3b sine of 3x. And if we tidy this particular expression, I hope it doesn't bother you that it's, uh, it's not next to each other and you can follow what I'm doing. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Uh, the reason I'm going fast tonight is because it's well past midnight and uh, I'm absolutely shattered again. I can't wait to hit my bed, really. Um, I'm gonna factorize the e to the two x. And I hope I don't make any mistakes now as well, because sometimes trying to cut steps is not really a good idea, particularly if you're tired. So e to the two x and e to the two x from both of them. And I'm gonna account for the signs and the cosines at the same time. So I'm gonna get signs two a, and I also got minus 3b lots of sine 3x. And the cos is next, plus we got 2b and cos is from uh, the second, uh, second term is 3a plus 3a cos of 3x. What have I achieved by doing this? Well, if you look at my integral, the one that I'm trying to evaluate, this is this. So what must happen in there? Well, I got no signs. So this bracket must be zero. And this bracket here must be one. So it's just a pair of very simple simultaneous equations. Uh, 2a minus 3b is equal to 0. And 2b and 3a is equal to 1. Um, we can just do perhaps a times 2 and a times 3. Try to get rid of the b's. So we go 4a minus 6b is still equal to 0. And times 3, 9a. Uh, plus 6b is equal to 3. And as I was saying to you earlier on, I remember that 13 somewhere. 9 plus uh, 4 is 13a. 13a is equal to 3. My a is 3 over 13. And my b, now I'll probably get my b as b 
is equal to, looking at this equation, B is two thirds, B on this side, two thirds of A. So my B will be equal to two thirds of this. Uh, I need to write it because my brain is stopping. Is two thirteenths. Okay, so my answer to this particular integral is going to be e to the 2x, e to the 2x, my a turned out to be 3 thirteenths, 3 thirteenths, lots of sine 3x, and my b, where's my b, b was 2 thirteenths, plus 2 thirteenths, the cos of 3x plus c, and if you want to make it a little bit better, perhaps you can factorize the third on the outside, and just leave a three here and similarly here a two and i think that's as cool as we can write it i hope you you, you found this uh, kind of uh, quite interesting I, I haven't seen things like that on youtube uh, and um, I, I don't know maybe there are out there just that, that haven't come across it uh, I, I, this is enough for tonight i think uh, on that note who's laughing now i'm laughing because i want to go to my bed now but uh, i've done four intervals i hope you got a better insight into what is integration by part and you picked up a bit of skill particularly with the um with the x squared arctan integral and also with this particular one this is very famous very common and you got another uh, uh bit of tool in your in your uh, in your resources so you can actually use it. Okay, I'll catch you later. Okay, bye for now.